the Triangle Factory, mostly known for its fire that made world news. This documentary will show you the work style of the Triangle Factory workers, the garment industry, and most of all, how the fire began. Bangladesh is the large, second largest exports on clothing industry. About 85% of the workers are women. In the garment industry, about 2.2 million people are employed. They mostly do clothing like sweaters and shirts. The factories were very harsh, dirty, etc. This goes along with the fact that there was a lot of bad things going on inside the factory. Some people working don't get their salaries and it has been happening for a long time and it's still going on. The minimum wage was what, $38 a month. Now it's worth back then. The workers back then were earning about $37 a month. In the industry, women were getting sexually harassed by men workers. The females w have been suffering this for a long time. During the times, women have found ways to escape the harassment. Bangladesh is growing in exponential speed by exporting clothing to different places in the world. 96% of fabric in any clothes is made from Bangladesh. The workers in Bangladesh make the clothing as eco-friendly as they can. Now, back to the U.S. of A. Here in the shirtwaist factory, the working conditions weren't as harsh as in the garment industry in Bangladesh. Here you have a set of salary which is about $7 a week. You were paid based on your skill level at the section you work for. The most an employee can earn was 12 US dollars. People in the shirtwaist factory were never trusted. Items had been stolen, therefore inspections would be done before leaving work. When it had gotten bad enough, they locked doors for all work hours. This causing people not to escape when the fire occurred. There were many rules, the biggest one of them all was people weren't allowed to talk. This affected many people because when they did, they either suffered a beating or several threats. Many different horrors happened within the walls of the factory. The higher old people were very sexist towards women making them have a low paid job and men having a higher paid. Men tended to work on the collars of each of their shirts. People had their own designated workspace for each of their jobs, but it didn't have anything to do with the way people were treated. During a nice spring day of March 25th, a small fire begun because one person had thrown a cigarette in the dustbin with lots of things in it. Still light, it caused a fire. People eventually noticed it and began trying to put it out, but soon enough, they ran out of water. People began to panic when the fire grew, running all over the place, confusing everyone. The doors were locked on several floors, leaving people to burn to death. The elevator was one option which 12 people could fit. Panic, people began squishing themselves, no, not allowing the elevator to function. People were panicked and were running everywhere. People tried the hallways, but they were all locked. So their last option was their stairs. People just ran to it. It was like a stampede and 20 people made it out, but 25 others died because it collapsed. A very tragic day indeed. Many lives were taken because of a matter of trust and other issues. Many people died in the garment industry 